Hi guys, uh, this is Onyx again. Um, I posted one of my uh, last videos that I was going to show you how to uh, download a um, Vista theme uh, and upload it and extract it to um, ext extract the file and upload it onto your system so that it's your uh, Vista theme. So you haven't got to download any patches or tweak it or anything. So uh, here it goes. Uh, if you go onto your um, uh, I'm going to use the last one I looked at. If you go onto your um, your internet browser, uh, I'm going to use the last one I looked at, the M11 um, M11 project uh, that was on my last video. Um, as I said, it's quite nice, but you need to change the background on it because you can't see the writing. Uh, if you go onto download uh, project M11 Vista theme and go to save, uh, if you save it into your uh, if I go into my downloads and save it there, it'll, depending on your um, download speed, it'll take about a minute or two, depending on how fast it is. Uh, mine's not that quick today, but uh, it'll have to do. Um, once it downloads, Right, and what you need to do is people make a fatal mistake of just closing it because sometimes they can't find the file after that because it's a raw file, it's quite difficult to find. Uh, if you go straight to open folder, if I minimise this so you can see it properly, right, you'll see it, um, where's it gone? You'll see it right there, and you'll see that it's, it's just a plain document, uh, it's not a folder or a certain type. Um, if you right click that, if you, you need to download something, download something like 7-Zip or WinRAR uh, and it, all they are is it's a program to extract files from the internet uh, because these files they're very quick to download because they are RAR files uh, so if you right click that and if I show you, you go to 7-Zip and you go to this one here which is extract the full file so if you extract that and then it should pop up with a um, with a folder, uh, so you don't really need that anymore. So if you double click onto the folder, and you see this little icon here, the one with the little green paint in it, you need that one. You need that one because that's that's, that's the actual theme. Now if you, if you click on that and highlight that one as well, so you've got both of them because you always need a folder to go with the um, the actual theme, so that the uh, so Vista can find the information that it needs for the theme from the folder. So if you, if I close that and close that, if you go into the Start menu and if you go onto there and type in, can't spell, can't spell again. If you go onto Resources. Which will bring up your themes. It, it most likely do. If if not, just go on to your Windows thing. I've downloaded some of the themes, so uh, it, you don't have to worry about that. And if I just drag that over there and open up my uh, M11 project on the downloads, all I need to do is highlight those two again and drag, literally click and drag over to here. Uh, I've already done it, so it doesn't matter, so I, I can do it again. Um, uh, and that should go over to there and then it will put it in alphabetical order so I must find it again uh, if it's over here uh, duh, duh, duh. M1 see M1 there and M1 there so if you just double click on that that should bring up this here um, which is your theme settings which you can find on your per um, if, if you right click on the desktop and go on to personalize and then go to theme settings uh, you can always change it onto different ones. I've got quite a few here, um, and all you need to do is click on the one you want. Uh, as I said, that's the default background, uh, and then click apply. It'll say, "Please wait," because it's just a little bit slow. Uh, if I click OK, and I exit that, and I exit that, you see this is the default. This is the default background. Uh, as I said, it's not very good for seeing for certain things like. You, you, you can't see that or documents or really pictures so it, it would be a good idea to just right click go down to personalize uh, and go on to desktop background 
uh, and it, it gives you loads of default ones anyway. These are the ones from the package, uh, but I just choose I, I, I just choose something else like uh, that one and keep it as that one. So you can see um, your different uh, applications and make make sure that the writing is visible because sometimes it's not. Uh, so that's the little theme. Uh, I hope this has helped. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.